In this episode of the FXDM educational series, we're going to be taking a look at the parabolic SAR indicator or parabolic stop and reverse. Now it's drawn on the chart as a series of dots in the case of a downtrend above the bars or candles that are on the chart. And in the case of an uptrend, the dots will be underneath the bars or candles. Now it's easier to show how this indicator works than it is to describe it. So let's look at a, a generic example that I've drawn here on the whiteboard, and then we'll take a look at some real life examples on the charts. So the parabolic SAR, as I mentioned, when it's set above the price chart in the case of a downtrend, what an investor is really doing is they are using it to identify where the trend might have reverse, which I'm going to show you in a second, or, and this is an important one, a lot of investors will use it to establish a trailing stop loss. So you can see here, as the blue dot is above the candle at the very beginning, they may set their initial stop loss there and then subsequently move it down with each new readjustment of those dots. Now, what causes it to change? So the parabolic SAR will eventually flip underneath the price chart when it goes into a bullish trend, hence the the term reverse. So it will flip underneath those candles or bars as a high price has been exceeded. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, let's, let's imagine, for instance, that the parabolic SAR dots, which as the trend progresses, they will accelerate or they will get closer and closer to the high price in the case of a downtrend, closer and closer to the high price each day. And eventually, we'll have a situation where the dot, which you can see here, on this day right there, let's say for example, that that was actually taken out by a new high price. So we'll say that there's a shadow here on this candlestick that goes up like that, and it's then taken out that dot. So at that point, an investor who hypothetically, they had set a stop loss there or something of that nature, well then they have been taken out of their trade and they may decide to then reverse their trade. Now we're dealing hypothetically here initially, but where would that new dot, if it's going to be applied underneath the price chart, where would it be? Well, it's set initially equal to the lowest price prior to that reversal. So in this case, that new dot would be set at a point equal to this low shadow here on this day, it was a couple of days before the actual reversal. Now, as that bullish trend progresses, that little dot is going to be placed underneath each new bar, and it's going to start to accelerate closer and closer to the prices as new highs are created. That acceleration will actually continue to put the dot closer and even closer until finally, so let's say we have the dot here uh, quite close, and then we'll say hypothetically that we have a bad day with a low, comes all the way down to where that dot would have been and then takes that out. So we have a day where a reversal has occurred, therefore that those dots that were drawn underneath the price chart now are gonna be flipped up, up above the price chart, equal to the high, the highest high before that reversal. So equal to, in this case, actually the day before, which is a little different than this one, which was a couple of days before the reversal. But what's important here, the concept is that it's the lowest low in the case of a flip from bearish into bullish or the highest high in the case of a flip from bullish into bearish. And then uh, subsequently that reversal signal or that reversal dot, the stop and reversal dot is then drawn above each day as it continues to move to the downside. Now let's take a look at what this actually looks like on a price chart and what it looks like when it flips from underneath to up above. In order to add the parabolic SAR to your price chart, go to the insert menu and then indicators, then trend and select parabolic SAR. Now here you can see an example of the parabolic SAR that's been applied on a one minute chart. As the trend changed from negative to positive, that was triggered by the high price for a particular period crossing above where that parabolic SAR dot had been applied. You can see here the dot is now equal to the low previous to the reversal. One of the challenges of using any kind of reversal or trending system are channels. This is one of the reasons why the parabolic SAR is oftentimes used in combination with the ADX indicator. 
which is an indicator that we discussed in another video here in the FXDM educational series. The ADX indicator can help you to avoid using the parabolic as they are in a channel where whipsaws are going to be very common and you're not able to take advantage of a long extended trend, which is really what the SAR is built to do. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of trending markets where the SAR would have identified a reversal in the trend or an opportunity for the trend, the prior trend to continue and how an investor would have used them to identify exits. Now here you can see an example where initially the price trend was bullish, but then those dots were taken out as the low exceeded where the parabolic SAR dot was. When the dot was replaced above the bar, you can see that it was placed at a point equal to the prior high before the price began to decline. Shorts might have considered opening a position here. And if we assume that there was a trailing stop that was placed at the dot's position as each period progressed, then we might have expected the position to be stopped out and even potentially reversed at this point here. Now here's an example where the dots initially were above the price bars because this was a bearish trend initially that was then reversed and the dots were placed underneath the price bars, again equal to the prior low before that rally occurred. Now eventually if we assume that there was a trailing stop that was placed, it would have been taken out here when the dots flipped from underneath the price bars to up above. The parabolic SAR is a great tool to help investors to be more consistent and disciplined about where they're placing stop losses and how they're taking advantage of a trend when it's in play.